Hello, this is Alex from the National Weather Service office here in Norman with an update on the near record high temperatures for today and Saturday, the potential for severe weather on Sunday, and finally the additional potential for severe weather on Tuesday. There's a lot going on here in the next few days, so let's get into it. For today and Saturday, the dry conditions and hot temperatures will continue, with high temperatures being well above normal. These temperatures will reach record levels with the chance of these records being broken at multiple locations. In addition to the hot temperatures, fire weather conditions will be a concern mainly for western Oklahoma and western North Texas. If you plan on doing any strenuous activities outside the next couple days, make sure that you take breaks and take care of yourself. For Sunday night into Monday, there's an enhanced risk of severe weather primarily across eastern and central Oklahoma. A cold front with a developing surface low pressure cyclone will be moving through the region. With ample instability and plentiful amount of vertical wind shear, there's a good chance of severe weather occurring, mainly east of I-35. Isolated storms are expected to begin forming along a cold front, which any storms that develop along this cold front may become supercells. With any supercells that do develop, large hail and damaging winds will be the main concern. These storms will quickly congeal into a line as they move eastward, bringing widespread chances of damaging wind, as well as the possibility of tornadoes being embedded within this line. There's a bit of uncertainty with the development of storms on Sunday, in particular when the storms will occur and where the storms will initialize. Currently, our forecast is that storms will begin forming through central Oklahoma and combine into a line of storms east of I-35, with the best chance of severe weather occurring in eastern Oklahoma. The amount of moisture moving into the area as well as the track of the surface low will be important parts of this severe weather scenario, and what happens may shift the development of the line of storms east and west. We'll be keeping an eye on this going forward and provide updates as the event gets closer. And finally, looking ahead, there's another chance of severe weather on Tuesday with another upper level trough and cold front moving into the region. Similar to Sunday, there's a lot of uncertainty with this, in particular the track of the trough and the timing of the trough moving through the region. So that's it for this briefing. Remember to stay safe and stay aware of any severe weather happening in your area the next few days. Check back in on our forecast for up-to-date information as these events get closer.